Do you want a stealthy looking, well-built brewing scale, but you're not ready to sell your kidney for an Akaya Pearl? The Time More Black Mirror might be just what you're looking for. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee, and let's see if this poor man's Akaya Pearl is any good at all. Hey Big Bean, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be having a look at this Time More Black Mirror Brewing Scale. This scale has been my daily driver for the past 5 months and in my opinion it is the best value for money brewing scale out there. I might be wrong about that though, so if you have another scale candidate for this world title, leave a comment down below. I got my Black Mirror for 45 USD direct from AliExpress. But if you don't want to wait too long for it to ship from China, you can pick one up from Amazon for around 65 US dollars. Compare that to the $225 price tag of the Akaya Pearl and you can see why this might be the deal of the century. Obviously, the Pearl, being a smart scale with a smartphone app available to do many nerdy things, is more expensive for a reason. The Black Mirror, on the other hand, is not a smart scale, but rather a digital brewing scale that delivers the necessary goods to make a delicious cup of coffee. It's available in stealth black or a beautiful white color that'll probably be very difficult to clean. With dimensions of 130 times 150 times 27 millimeters, it's around the same size as the Pearl and it can be used as an espresso scale as well but only if there is enough clearance between the group head and the base. For example, it works great as an espresso scale on my Lelit Mara X, but there is no way I could do the same on my Gaja Classic. So be very mindful of the size of this scale if you want to use it with your espresso machine. Now, let's have a look at some of the features of the Time More Black Mirror. It's waterproof, so you don't have to worry in case you spill some of your precious coffee on it. Just make sure water doesn't enter the underbelly of the scale. It can detect weight as little as half a gram and max out at 2 kilos. It's also accurate to the tenth of a gram, just like any other good brewing scale. Comes with a rechargeable battery that can be fast charged using a USB-C cable. And I haven't measured battery life, but I use the scale multiple times every day and I only need to charge the battery like once a month or something. The bottom corners of the scale are touch sensitive, the timer button being on the left and the power button on the right. A gentle touch turns on the scale, so I really don't know what's with all the bullshit of people just swiping like this to turn it on. When inactive, the scale will turn off after 3 minutes and if the timer is active but there is no change in weight, the scale will turn off automatically in 15 minutes. In normal mode, once the scale is on, a simple touch on the time button will activate the timer. This scale has the option of auto tear, which would automatically tear your bean weight and start the timer once you start pouring water. The auto tear option is great for manual brewing, but I wouldn't use it for espresso brewing because you're supposed to start timing your espresso shots once you press the brew button. Activating the auto tear option is super easy. Turn on the scale, Tap the timer button 8 times and that's it. A little A letter will appear on the scale display. Put your brewing equipment on the scale, put the coffee in, press the timer and wait for 3 second countdown. After the countdown, the scale will tear itself and then wait for you to start pouring in order to activate the timer. Once you're done and you remove the cone or whatever brewing device you're using, the timer will automatically stop, giving you the total brewing time, which in my opinion is pretty cool. You can also activate the sound option for when you're tapping any of the two buttons by simply pressing the time button for more than 5 seconds. And lastly, if you haven't noticed already, it comes with a rubber mat to protect the beautiful surface from scratches and cracks just in case you're treating it rough. There we have it. That was my candidate for the best bang for buck brewing scale out there. We have a link in the description for the Black Mirror in case you want to buy one. And another link for the Akaya Pearl scale in case you're willing to let go of one of your kidneys. Now, I'd like to hear your thoughts on these two scales. Do you have a Time More Black Mirror? Do you think it's a good alternative to the Akaya Pearl? 
And if you don't have a black mirror, let us know which scale you're using at home. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something useful out of watching it. Press the like button if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. In case you want to support our channel and what we do here, the best way to do that is to head over to our Teespring shop and buy yourself some dope ass classic gang merch. Or if you just want to leave us a little tip in a tip jar, click the PayPal link and drop a couple of coins in there. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.